Nivus, your specialist in measurement technology. The company has been pointing the way ahead in the area of flow measurement technology for more than 40 years. The following movie presents the development of flow measurement technology, from Doppler measurement to the cross-correlation method. The flow measurement principle. Flow cannot be measured directly. There are various factors required to detect the flow Q, such as the average flow velocity and the flow cross-section. From this, the general formula is obtained. Q equals V, average, times A. How do we measure these factors? The flow cross-section A is determined by continuously measuring the level measurement in consideration of the channel shape. If the level changes, the flow cross-section will change accordingly, and hence flow will change as well. The flow velocity is detected by measuring the particle velocity. Most media, particularly wastewater, contain dirt particles or gas bubbles moving with the same velocity as the medium. The velocity of the particles is measured using ultrasound. As soon as the velocity changes, the flow normally changes as well. The main difficulty while detecting the average flow velocity is that there are varying velocities prevailing at varying levels. The medium and hence the particles normally flow slower at low levels than at higher levels. From this, a so-called flow profile can be obtained. This profile depicts the flow velocities related to the levels. Miscellaneous factors affect this flow profile, disturbing free discharge or may result in the formation of backwater. Such disturbing factors may be pipe roughness and varying sedimentation, solid concentration or influences due to construction such as elbows and throttle equipment. Flow measurement using Doppler systems. The Doppler technology uses a sensor continuously transmitting ultrasonic signals at a constant frequency. The particles contained in the medium reflect the signal. The particle movement shifts the frequency of the reflected signal. The frequency shift is detected by the sensor. The greater the particle velocity, the greater the frequency shift. Doppler measurement is a spot velocity measurement. The sensor is not able to determine at which level the velocity has been detected. Due to this reason, the flow profile cannot be represented. To counteract this shortcoming, the average flow velocity is computed with the aid of a calibration factor. This factor must be determined previously such as by implementing a grid measurement, which is fairly time-consuming and expensive. The calibration factor is valid only for one stationary condition. If the flow conditions should change, such as due to rainfall, the flow profile will change accordingly. The originally determined calibration factor, hence, is no longer applicable and the reading is distorted. The flow conditions will change even in case of the formation of backwater caused by sedimentation, elbows or throttle equipment. The original calibration factor here is no longer valid as well and the measurement results are faulty. Accumulation of particles generates a stronger measurement signal and hence is determined by the sensor as measurement spot. A local variation, therefore, creates a distorted reading which varies from the calibration. The shortcomings of Doppler measurement systems as brief conclusion. Faulty results at varying flow profiles. Faulty results in case of changing particle concentration. Permanent calibration required. Nivus provides the better solution. Flow measurement using cross-correlation. High, accurate, reliable and stable. The Nivus cross-correlation method is not a spot velocity measurement. Here all particles are detected at the same time covering the entire measurement beam. The particle images are evaluated by comparing correlation to each other. This comparison repeats within a few milliseconds. 
In addition to the individual particle velocities, the relation to the flow level is available. Due to this, it is possible to represent the flow profile directly. The discrete flow velocities related to the flow level covering the complete measuring beam ensures high accurate flow metering. The sensor even detects flow profile changes due to events such as rainfall. The measurement remains to be highly accurate. The measurement results remain to be highly accurate even in case of backwater formation caused by obstacles such as sedimentation, elbows or throttle equipment. Even accumulation of particles within the medium has no effect on the measurement. The measurement remains to be highly accurate. The Nivors cross correlation method, an overview of the benefits. Highest possible accuracy, stable readings, no calibration required. Our measurement system is for universal use in all flow cross sections, in large profiles, no matter if part filled or full. Portable and non-portable metering systems. Nivus provides the perfect solution for each application. Our innovative systems stand for highest accuracy and reliability. Nivus cross-correlation flow measurement. High accurate, reliable, stable.